Welcome to the channel, I'm Jay Malone. Today, we're going to take a look at a brand new Photoshop feature called Select Subject. If this is your first time to the channel and you enjoy photography, drones, technology, and other related things, then start off by hitting that subscribe button. When you do, tap the little bell icon next to it, that way you won't miss anything. Before we start, let me say that this tool is not perfect. But hey, it's pretty cool. The first thing that you need to do is make sure that you have the latest Photoshop update from Adobe. Now that it's updated, let's hop on over to the computer and open a photo with something to select. We're going to take a look at two totally different examples and two ways to use this tool. The first method will give you the most control, while the second method is the fastest. But let's start with this photo of myself. Once you have the photo open, choose one of the selection tools from the tools palette over here onto the left. We're going to just choose this quick selection tool. Now that you've chosen it, you'll notice a couple buttons at the top of the screen. For this example, let's click on the button that says select and mask. Once the select and mask dialog box is open, click on the select subject button at the top of the screen. Photoshop will analyze your image and auto select your subject. And with that one click, your subject is selected. Once selected, you could refine the selection in this dialog box, but we can also clean it up with a brush tool later. Once you're happy with the selection, click on OK. And just like that, you have a subject selected and it's already masked out. If there are some places that it missed, choose the brush tool and the black color. Make sure you have the mask selected and zoom in to paint out areas that were missed or paint with white to bring back something that was mistakenly cut out. And there, you have a pretty good mask. This is a great tool to use for making YouTube thumbnails. And if you want to see a video on making thumbnails, click on the link in the top right corner of this video. Let's move on to the second sample. Here we have an image of a barn with trees closely behind it. How will Photoshop handle this? By the way, leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think of this tool. This time, let's click on the button that just says select subject. And what do you know, Photoshop has done a pretty good job at isolating our subject. Hopefully you can see the little marching ants around the barn. That is our selection. Now go over to your layers palette and click on the add mask button. It's this square with a little circle out of it. And you will see that the barn was cut out. It's that simple to create a mask. If you want to see a tutorial on how I edit raw files, click on that video over there or click on the link in the description below this video. And be sure to subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And until next time, God bless.